All right. <clears throat> 28. Give the minor elimination products of the following compound in its most stable conformation its most stable conformation being key so here's the molecule that they give us being treated with potassium terbutoxide and heat. It's a strong hindered base, which I don't know if hindered really affects it, but didn't seem to. So that's gonna be an E2 reaction. So what is the most stable conformation? We have two bulky groups, an iodine and a methyl group that are on a cyclohexane ring. So the most stable is going to have them both equatorial, right? We'll have CH3 equatorial down. We'll have I equatorial up. Now, in its most stable conformation, the elimination must be from sin uh, sin transition state or actually maybe like a sin hydrogen on a sin and a sin alpha hydrogen so here we have this is axial this is equatorial it's axial up equatorial up it's sin rather than anti so um, it's not as favorable as an anti-equatorial, but it'll work. So there's two routes which this terbutoxide could do an elimination. It could take this hydrogen up here, which would give its double bond there, and the I would leave. Or it could take route B, come up here, give its, its bond there, and then the I would leave. So route A would produce this molecule. And it's the more substituted of the two. So I would say it's the major of the minor, perhaps. And when you translate this into a more two-dimensional shape, we get this, and here we go, this is um, route B, if we went this route and took this hydrogen, here's the molecule we would get, it's the less substituted, right? And uh, let me just do what the major elimination product would be. So in order to get the major elimination product that would come from the least stable conformation. The bulky groups of of uh, methyl and iodine would be axial rather than equatorial. I would be axial up, CH3 would be axial down, here would be the hydrogens, and right here we have a sin, I mean an anti-hydrogen, that's the most preferable, right? So here we have the terbutoxide. 
takes that hydrogen, donates there, creates a double bond. The um, iodine, iodine leaves, and we're left with. molecule here which equals right um I was thinking about it I don't know if, well wait before yeah the terpitoxide it wasn't hindered enough to take this hydrogen right which was next to a bulky m methyl group so I guess this also would be a possibility. This terpitoxide could take this hydrogen and the double bond would be formed here and that would be a more substituted alkene. But it's that would be sin, right? It would be a, a sin elimination. So that's less likely.